in the New Testament church, when we read through Scripture, we see that it is viewed as a body. And that body emphasizes function. We work together. We function together through a variety of organs that we see mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And so the, the church is viewed as a body. And the body needs every organ to function for the church, the body, to be what it's supposed to be. It's also mentioned as a bride, the church. And uh, that's a good truth that needs to be reminded of, that this is a bride. We are a bride. The church is the bride of Christ. We don't belong to man. We don't belong to leadership. We don't belong to translocal teams. We belong to Christ. And leaders are preparing themselves and the bride for the return of the bridegroom. But we are the bride of Christ. And that emphasizes our faithfulness, not to ministry or to regions or to mandate, but faithfulness to Jesus. We need to be faithful to Him. Stay faithful to Him. I want to say carefully that if you're connected to a local church, you should be faithful to your leaders. We should be faithful to what we're a part of. But I've seen in history, and I'm sure many of you have, that some are so faithful and loyal to people that they become disloyal and unfaithful to God. And so for me, we've got to make sure we've been faithful to the Lord. He is the bridegroom. We, our faithfulness is to Him, not just to people or to, to mission, but to Christ. It is so important. Our love, for the, our love for the bridegroom and our loyalty to Him, Ephesians 5, 25, speaks around that. The, the church in the New Testament is also emphasized as a building. I know that God doesn't live in a building made of stone. The Bible is clear on that. He dwells in us. But we are the church spoken of as a building. And that emphasizes Jesus as foundation, which we talked around a lot. Matthew 16, verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. This building that He's putting together, living stones as it were, but Jesus Christ has to be the foundation. And that's the emphasis of the building. We're living stones. 1 Peter 2, verse 5. There's another picture we see in the New Testament, and it's the brotherhood. Uh, which includes ladies too, I understand, but that is what the Bible says. It's emphasizing our fellowship with each other. That the church has to function together, has to be faithful to the Lord, has to uh, be together. But also we need to be in fellowship with each other. First Peter 2 verse 17 says, Love the brotherhood of believers. And I think there's something in that for all of us. It's something-